Hello, church. It is Thursday, July 16th, and I'm Pastor Colleen. Two Sundays ago, the second reading for our Sunday worship was from Paul's letter to the Romans, the seventh chapter, beginning at the 15th verse, which said this. I do not understand my own actions, for I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. Now I do what I do not want. I agree that the law is good. But in fact, it is no longer I that do it, but sin that dwells within me. For I know that nothing good dwells within me that is my, in my flesh. I can will what is right, but I cannot do it. For I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do not want is what I do. Now, if I do what I do not want, it is no longer I that do it, but sin that dwells within me. So I find it to be a law that when I want to do what is good, evil lies close at hand. For I delight in the law of God in my inmost self, but I see in my members another law at war with the law of my mind, making me captive to the law of sin that dwells in my members. Wretched man that I am, who will rescue me from this body of death? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with my mind I am a slave to the law of God, but with my flesh I am a slave to the law of sin. I know it sounds complicated. Paul certainly liked to use a lot of words to express his thoughts, but sometimes they seem to sound confusing. But I'm sure we can all resonate with his statement, I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing that I hate. I don't do what I want, I don't... Sometimes it is hard to know which way is up, and it is difficult to do the right thing, even when we know what the right thing is. And since we're living through a plague, I think the stress and anxiety can make all our decisions that much harder. So thinking about this today, I wanted to share a prayer with you that's written by the Reverend Martha Spong. So let us pray. All-knowing God, we do not want you to know what we do. When we say we do what we hate, what we mean is this. We do exactly what we want, and we expect that no one will know, or no one will stop us. The good we want is hard, or it is painful, or it requires discipline, or honesty, or self-reflection, and we do not do it. The evil we do is easy or attractive, or tempting, or so commonplace it can be hard to believe it's wrong. Help us to look at ourselves and see how things really are. Not the fairy tale versions who do no wrong, but our actual selves in all our brokenness. Help us to take an honest look and not despair or resort to defensiveness. Help us to face the wrong we have done and the things our ancestors have done and left undone before us. From our stories and yours, help us to learn a better way, to begin to live in wholeness as the people you made us to be. We ask it in the holy name of Jesus. Amen. Dear church, I hope this helps for those moments we know we have done wrong and we need God's help to do better. I pray that all is well with your soul on this day. And I pray that this time together helps if all is not feeling very well. Thank you for listening. God bless you all. I'll see you again. Bye.